Hello, dobrý den, ahoj. My name is Barbara and I'm an official guide of Prague. My guiding license is from the year 1996. I like also to say that I'm a real Prager. I was born in the city, I grew up here, studied and worked, and also all my family lives in Prague. When I finished my studies, I worked as a lawyer for a couple of years, but then I decided to change my profession and to return to guiding, which was one of the best decisions in my life because I love this job and I really enjoy meeting different people and especially to show them around our beautiful city that we in Czech language call Praha. The Paris street, Pařížská street in Czech language, is one of the most beautiful streets in Prague and also one of the most expensive. So before you come here, it's, it's really much better to leave your credit cards at hotels. But also look at the street. Don't you have a feeling you're like in Paris? So that is why it is called Paris Street, because this was built around 100 years ago after Parisian boulevards or avenues. And because it was built at the beginning of the 20th century, most of the houses here are built in beautiful Art Nouveau style. But some of the houses are built also in so-called eclectic style. For example, the house behind me is a typical example of mixture of different parts or elements from different art styles from the past. So, look at the windows. Above the windows, the ornaments above the windows are typical pseudo-Gothic. The balcony is neo-Renaissance and the roof of the house copies the roofs of Gothic towers in Prague. And also, there is an interesting statue of Saint George fighting a dragon. Don't miss it because this statue, this is very symbolic for the early Middle Ages, but we are still in the 20th century. But imagine that in 1950s, exactly on that place, on the hill, above the whole city, there was a statue or a huge monument to Soviet dictator Stalin. It used to stand here in 1950s when there was the Czechoslovakia, the communist Czechoslovakia. So imagine all the people living in Prague in that time. They could have a feeling they were watched, observed by this dictator. The Pařížská street goes through the Jewish quarter and now we are standing in front of the old new synagogue which is behind me. And this is the oldest active synagogue in Europe which was built around the year 1280. If you look behind me there is the Jewish town hall and above the window there is a typical symbol of the Jewish community in Prague which is the Star of David and in the middle you see the pointed high yellow hat which Jews had to wear in the past. The Jewish Museum was established in 1906 after the credence of the Cato and it consists of five synagogues and Jewish old Jewish cemetery which is a very interesting place because you find old stones and people buried in layers and very famous personalities not only from our country but also from abroad. And when I'm talking about this famous synagogue, I mustn't forget to mention the very famous and popular legend about Prague Golem, a monster created from a clay. So I'm sure you will love this story. And if you like to hear it, come to Prague. I, I'll be very happy to be your personal Prague guide. Hello, ahoy from Bara.